Okay, welcome back again today. We've got with us Gil Pollock from Secondhand Golf. And today we're going to talk about golf balls for the mid-ranger. So with so many different brands and, and different handicaps, we thought we'd um, try and focus on those who are now sort of in that mid-range. So what's that mid-range? Sort of 20 to 40, I guess? Yeah, mid-range would probably be... The big change happens like people start to jump. You'll come down and your high handicaps will really rock it down. Once you get into the game and you're playing regularly, you're starting to, if you're working with a coach for a start, that, that'll help hugely. Um, you're watching yourself, you're trying out new things. Your game will move from the high handicaps down to sort of like the mid, early 20s very, very quickly. So we kind of have a, when we talk mid-range, we're kind of talking from about 15 handicap right through to about 35. Right. That's because it just... The, the difference between you'll watch people as, you, as you're around the community yourself, how fast they drop from the 40s and the 30s, it rockets down. And then they sort of hit this blank, this, this wall between 15 and 25. And that's where we seem to struggle. But the next jump from that is, is the 8 to 15 bracket. And that's the next struggle. And then you get below the 8 when you start getting to some really good golfing. You know? So in the mid range, this is where you, you're playing, you possibly join a club, you're playing really regularly. We, this is where I advise you to move into some other golf balls and options for yourself because it will help you with better control. Uh, the ball is designed for is designed for mid range golfers. That's what the the whole um, research and development behind it is there for. So going into mid range, like for, a, for I can talk more about the male side of things because the female seems to just stay on on the S, on this on the ladies type balls, but then you've got to go and find your ball in. In the, the vast array if that makes sense to you so like for, for females it'll come down to which brand they like and it's not a male female ball it's just a mid-range ball it's not they designed for people that are playing consistent golf someone who will turn up and shoot sort of low 90s every single time they play so it's more about you have developed some form of consistency now and these balls will help with that consistency because right. they perform, they're a higher grade ball, so they perform almost exactly the same every time. Whereas your earlier ones, although they're good balls and everything, they're not as direct focused to what you're trying to achieve in your game, which is obviously keep it on the fairway, get it on the green. And when you're chipping, you're pitching and all that is you get you learn to control the spin of the ball when it's arriving on the green and et cetera. Also, putting becomes a big part. When you get to this stage, you start having a lot longer putts because you've hit the green for two and it's a birdie putt, but it might be 50 odd feet. So having a ball that you trust a lot because putting over 40 to 50 feet is, hey, two putt is a great result. <laughs> That's what people, oh, people go, oh, I should have made that. Yeah, right, it's 40 or 50 feet. You know, it's expected yeah. to be a two putt. And a two putt's a good result from then. But having a consistent ball that you trust and you know will help you in that putting area as well as your chipping area. So for, for that range, you, as I say, you do have an incredible, I'll just run through some of the names that I've written down here. In the tightest range, you have the velocity matte finish, which is the, the um, duller finish um, on the ball, on the velocity. They're a good ball. Velocity stands up as a very strong ball in that category. Um, you've also got the tour soft by tightest. Tour soft is moving more towards probably your lower end, your 15, uh, 16, 17 handicapper. Okay. He's got his game really together wanting to move to the next stage, which is, as I say, between that 8 and 15. To a soft, be a great ball, and if you've got that running, you will be it's very, very consistent in its feel and flight. Um, the Callaway, in the Callaway range, you can look at CX control, the hex control. There is CXR power. Now, the power is more there probably for someone who wants a consistent ball but is still short in distance. So the power does give probably an extra 10 or 15 metres. But unfortunately, on the green, you don't have as much spin as, say, a CXL control or a tour soft or anything like that. So it's going to a ball that you feel comfortable with striking. And this is where I, I do advise people to start getting B grades and practice grades together of that exact ball. Because the more you play and practice with that, the better this result's going to be on the course. So across that range, you've got, as I say, you've got Typhus and the Callaway, then the Shrixen, the Q-Star, and even the Z-Star XV. There is nothing wrong with still playing with a soft feel at this level because it's a very good consistent ball along with something like an ulti soft instruction you can also have a look at but ulti soft is really a personal preference because it is a very soft ball if you hit the ball a long way and you want something that really 
got a bit more reaction, Alti stops the way to go in Shrexham. <coughs> um, in TaylorMade, you've got a wide range at the moment because you have the Project A, the S, the soft response and the tour response. All four of those balls fit a different type of golfer and what they like. That is just basically, if you like TaylorMade, you like the brand, go out and try them across the board. Um, generally, most people end up with the tour response or the Project A. They seem to be the most popular sellers that we have on the site. So that range there would cover every mid-range golfer's needs. And as I say, the biggest thing is finding what fits you. Um, the Z-Star XV, for example, I've put into the mid-range, although it's a top-end ball, um, it's a sort of ball because it's, it's, it wears very well, it doesn't pick up a lot of scratches and marks and et cetera. It gives you that feeling of what a top-end ball is, and you can be playing with it in the mid-range area. And it will, it, again, it's not as high-volumed accentuated spin, so it'll keep, again, all these balls do help minimise the big cuts and the big hooks. But if you hit a bad swing, it's still got a hook and it's still got a cut. No question about it. You can't fix the swing with the golf ball, but it will minimise the results. Yeah, and give you a way more consistent feeding across the board. Awesome. That's excellent. I really appreciate that again. So um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll put some links in there, but if somebody has a more personalised question, yeah. how do we get a hold of you? Just um, basically message us through the Facebook page um, on Secondhand Golf. Um, we, we do try and respond within an hour. It just does come down to who's available if you've been on the golf course and getting balls out of water. <laughs> um, we will try and respond within a very short space of time. Um, primarily, it's as much information as you've got helps us. So if you've tried balls before and you don't like them, put it down in writing for us so we can say, okay, we didn't like that. And then it can help us work out what you might not be enjoying in the ball so we can take you to something that will offer you what you're looking for in a ball. And um, it gets tough between the mid-range and the low handicap because um, if a guy's, if people tell us exactly what their game's like, we can have a picture of it and then we know which ball to go with. If, they, if they're telling us they hit it 300 metres when they're hitting a 250, <laughs> you know, information is key here for us to help what's actually going on. And also explain to us where they struggle. Do they struggle in control when they're approaching the green? Are they mis, misgauging their distances and leaving the ball 10, consistently leaving it 10 metres short? Well, then you've got to look perhaps at another ball that's slightly more flight focused. Um, you may just find it may work better for you. So information is key of your personal game. Yeah. Great. Also talking to a pro. If you have got a teacher, talk to your pro, ask him his opinion. Unfortunately, a lot of pros are just very much um, brand based. So they may not give you the information or something else, but that's their job. And you've got to appreciate they're there to sell that product and they are paid by those suppliers. So, yeah, but in any range, every ball, every major brand has something for your range. You may just have to try the other brand at some point and see if you like it better. Yeah, and I guess it is just that trial and error. Some times try a different brand. I guess some of us could get so focused on one brand. Absolutely. Um, it could be supplied in a different brand to just get you that extra distance or spin or yeah we, we see we see vast um you know sales go through the roof after every single major and it just depends who sponsored the major whether it be Callaway or, oh, or right. you know, and the next minute all those balls sell like to a soft um which is a good ball we, was very heavily advertised with the masters last year um not this one gone with one before and there's from there, that ball just shot up. And it is, it's a good ball. It needed to be recognised for where it fits in. Because you've got the um, the Tour Soft and the Tour Speed. Either of those you can use, it comes down again to what you like in a feel. And, um, so, yeah. But don't, be, don't, be, don't get caught up in that you have to have this ball to make a game better. There's a ball that will suit your game. You've just got to find it. Yeah. Really. All right. Once again, thank you so much. No that problem. Was great um, tapping into your knowledge. <laughs> Hopefully we can help some people. Absolutely. <laughs> of course we will. All right. Awesome. We'll talk again soon. Sweet.